Hello guys and welcome to episode 99 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Von Karsteins on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be taking on Marathi. I believe Vlad is in range to do that attack. We're also going to be uh, looking at trying to take some more of the Dark Elf settlements. We've also got 27,000 to spend so that's something I want to focus on. Let's have a look at some of our newer settlements. So at Toyaka we do have the Gibbet and the Balefire Brazier already building. Let's uh, put in a ghost fence here. And I think I might also get the Vampire Crypts, not just for the income, but also because of that public order. It's pretty useful. But let's front jump over to Vlad and uh, make this attack. Will be mine. Yeah, we are in range. And this army is actually pretty easy to kill, I think. Dark Riders are going to get demolished by our Blood Knights. And then we just have uh, all of the Grave Guard to chase down their shades. The Terror Geist and the Black Coach that can do the same. So let's fight this on the battle map. I am a little bit ill still. Um, fortunately, my voice is a bit better so I don't have to worry about that so much but I am still feeling the effects of my illness like I uh, just had like a cold slash flu bug I don't know what the hell it was but it was rough by the way let's move forwards the infantry um, we will group them up into a control group I may as well have Vlad in that group actually because he doesn't have a mount um, then we will have a vampire here, of course. All of the blood knights. I'm tempted to just have them, like, run forwards. Like, if we just deploy them like so and just give them attack orders forwards. But I'm assuming all of the shades are going to be in front of the dark riders. So I'm actually going to put these off to one side. Same with these ones. We'll have the terror guys in the middle, though. With the black coach that can just run forwards and run down some poor old shades. Um, let's... Start the deployment, start the battle. We'll just pause it so we can see what's up. May as well charge into these shades on the flanks. And we'll have some Blood Knights go around. Same deal on this side. Blood Knights go around. Uh, then this locked control group can just attack forwards. I'll have the Terror Geist probably use their Breath Attacks. Actually, let's use the Breath Attacks into the Dark Riders. That'll do more damage, I think. Okay, let's go. And then we have the Terror Geist dive into the Shades. Okay, so the Blood Knights have managed to run down the Shades there, that's good. I think the Dark Riders just like went ham and just like charged into us. And where is Vlad? He should be... Well, let's take, take on this Death Hag, that's a good, good shout. Uh, we'll give him his buffs. Take the melee attack away from that unit. Good. Alright, let's continue to drive on in the back line. My black coach is a little bit stuck, so let's just get it out of the way. Lovely. We're doing quite well here. I'm kind of thinking, dude, like a bit of shades here. I don't need my Blood Knights to run into that though, that's uh, a bad idea. <laughs> Just move away for a second, <laughs> and then we can charge back in. Okay, these all need to keep pushing forwards, especially Vlad, he needs to take on Marathi. Wow, my Terror guys got really low on health. Um, let's make sure that we are invocating, because that Terror Geist looks like it's going to integrate. It looks like it's been attacked by some spell or something. Not sure. Uh, I think we've won. Yep. That was relatively simple. Just smashing those shades. I'll go and attack those shades as well. Kneel before your master. 
Got to try and take out Marathi here if we can. I might put a Melkos Mystifying Masma on her just to make sure she's slowed. You might die anyway. Regardless, let's uh, ungroup my men and uh, we'll make sure they're starting to run together. Because we want to make sure that we can get that invocation off. And this guy can allow us to do it. Assuming my vampire doesn't kill him too quickly. Gonna do the arcane conduit. Maybe we can get a second invocation. Oh, never mind. I should have stopped my vampire attacking that guy. We still managed to heal quite a bit, so we're good. And that was a very successful battle. I think since they're on the water, they will die. Unless it's changed since you can fight on water. We did kill Marathi, so I think this army will definitely die. Do I want the replenishment? Probably not. We could probably take the money. Yeah, and it and it sunk, so that's good. And Vlad has gained the Hag Butcher trait. Nice. So with Vlad, I think we head towards the Shrine of Cain now. We want to take this province, Nagarath, Toranlek, Tordranil, and the Shrine of Cain. Uh, Milland should probably swap places with Minerad because he is not getting any replenishment. My blood night calls. Okay, anyway, uh, Isabella, what are we going to do with her? Uh, we were going to try and get these two armies together, weren't we? Because Count Ewald can't take the Cursed Jungle. Can he take the Temple of Skulls? I'm going to assume he can. And if that's the case, I may as well just break the siege here and use March Stance and just bypass the settlement. Then what we can do is have Isabella start heading up and around towards the Cursed Jungle. I don't really want to get in between these two because then both of the armies can attack us. So I'm going to try and move up, I think, towards Doomglade and we'll come down towards the Cursed Jungle from there. If they go ahead and take Teotihuacan off us, then so be it. I think Teotihuacan is going to present a pretty scary target, though, because the garrison is being upgraded. So let's just uh, zoom up here. I'm going to stay in March. It probably doesn't matter if Krokgar attacks us. The vampire is all good. She has lost a vampire along the way, hasn't she? Yeah, Melissa. She got wounded, I think. Now, Bethilda's actually leveled up. I guess we'll just put the point into Fleet Footed. And what we'll do is head towards Malekith. Right, Bernard. Oh, he's got to deal with some Norsecan armies. No, but can he? This better be important. I mean, he's got depleted forces for one. What trickery is this? And these aren't no joke. My bloodline we do have strength. some blood knights, but. Skin walls are anti large. I think this could be like a really rough battle. Wolfric on his mammoth is very, very strong. Tell you what, I'm going to do. I think we're going to retreat from this battle. We will come onto the water here and go to Norden. Actually, can I get to Erengrad from here? No, okay. We'll stay in Norden for this turn. He'll get fully replenished, and then maybe we can go back and take the Bay of Blades. I'm not going to put any money into the buildings there. Yeah, that's okay. And then we need to start building the new army at Waldenhof. This is something that I 
I've been wanting to do for a while, but we've waiting for we've been waiting for Rudiger to be ready again, and he, now he is. So let's uh, recruit him, and we will make sure he's got more blood knights on the way. Try and work out composition. So I definitely want more blood knights. We're going to want another four, which is fine, and then we'll have like four slots left for something else. Possibly the Mortis Engine. Can I build Mortis Engines in this province? I don't think I can. We might have to build a Mortis Engine here. Because the other thing I was thinking about was Terror Geists. That's going to take five turns. It's pretty rough. I mean, maybe I could just raise a Mortis Engine from the dead. Is that a possibility? I could maybe just raise a couple Vargolf to join us. Is there a map mode for, like, raising dead? That would be really cool. I don't think there is. There is the little symbols on the map here. But I doubt that's going to really give us anything. That one. It was only 1,700. And there's 5,000 up north. This would be the best province to recruit from. We still need the Blood Knights regardless. But I am very tempted to just kind of rely on Ray's dead. After we get the four Blood Knights, we could do like Mortis Engine, Vargolf, double Terror Geist. We probably won't get Terror Geist though. So it might be worth just going like double Vargolf. I really want flying units. Maybe we just go to Castle Tempoff, hire like three Terror Geists, and then after that, we head north. If we get a Mortis Engine, then we do. If we don't, then we don't. I think that's the best way to do it. Right, Ormond, I don't really want to attack Malekith while he has the sort of cane. The only reason we moved him down here was to make Malekith move back in that direction. So we'll move back to Torvaris for now. Uh, Millen's not going anywhere. What about Richard, actually? He's uh, heading up. Oh yeah, he's going to join this army. Although he's only going to be there for two turns, so we'll probably just have to chase him all the way up. Now we're just going to find out what we want to do with the 9,800. Definitely upgrade the walls at Grimhold and get the shady township upgraded at Kalak Asgaraz. Good. We will move on to the next turn. I'm assuming that Norska is going to attack us. Yep, here comes Wolfric. And there was a chance that I might be able to win that battle against Norska. But it would have just left the army in tatters. So I'd much rather get to a point where we can win convincingly. And then have the army still at full strength in order to continue the conquest. Because I don't really care if I lose the Bay of Blades. And honestly, them taking it is probably a good thing. Because they're going to start upgrading it. We might be able to take it over at level 2 or something. And that would be great. So, yeah. We will see. The Sword of Cain rests. Does that mean they don't have it anymore? The Sword of Cain has been returned to its shrine. Cataclysm has been narrowly avoided. So maybe that makes us taking the Shrine of Cain doubly important. Because it is at the Shrine of Cain right now. And Malekith no longer has it. Yeah, so that's kind of confirmed my thoughts. Now I just need to kill off Malekith, which is definitely a possibility with our army now. Like Warmond, I think it is, who's down south, can take on Malekith for sure. 
The Malachist army is pretty strong. I don't know. It might be a risky battle, but with the magic that we have, it should be fine. Oh yeah, I forgot about the exiles. The exiles of Nehek. We uh, discovered them in the last episode. So uh, do nothing. Mingil's man flayers. Yeah, we don't have to worry about them too much. Volker Bachman is back. And our natural strength has been researched. Okay. Volker needs to head back to his army. I think it's Milland. Uh, although Milland's going to be heading to Torkarale anyway, so I want to swap around these armies. Um, let's move Minerad out of the settlement. We can put Milland into March Dance and go to Torkarale. We can get rid of these skeleton warriors and have Volker join him. And then what we can do is move back to Toraka. Lovely. And those should be fine. They're still replenishing. Yep, all good. Now while I'm here, uh, what I want to do is make sure that I've got followers on this guy. I just noticed he picked one up. Oh, the plus 10% research rate, faction-wide. Pretty decent, actually. Yeah, let's grab that, why not? May as well give him some armor while we're here. The glittering of scales is not bad. Uh, Shrieking Blade's okay. And Dawnstone's good as well. Wonder of Jet is fine. Great. He's sorted. How about Milland? I think Milland's good as well. Although we never really use the Scab Scraith thing, so I think I might just give him the Sword of Strife. And Vlad's gonna probably go into March Dance, went to full speed and head towards the Shrine of Cain. And Isabella. I guess we could go up towards Doom Glade. I'm gonna just get to the edge of the province, but not in Christian. Great. Right, meanwhile, County Wald. I guess we might just put him into Raiding Stance, because then he stops taking attrition, and he can head down south towards the Temple of Skulls. It's good. I mean, if I'm patient, I might actually just take Count Ewald to the Cursed Jungle again with Isabella, and then we can smash them at the Cursed Jungle and then move to the Golden Tower, wipe out that army. That might be a better way to do it, just so that we don't lose Tiatiqua, for example. What's our next technology going to be? I'm thinking this one, the uh, Vampiric Revivification and the Delusions of Grandeur. Revivification. That gives extra armor to our Mortis engines. That's really good, actually. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like Malekith has started to move up again, so let's now move Warman back down. Tempted to just like move straight towards Elisalai. Like, all the way into enemy territory now. we just got to compare this army to ours. So we have, what, four units of Blood Knights. They've got Cold One Dread Knights. The Cold One Dread Knights lose to Blood Knights, so that's one thing we got sorted. They've only got a couple of Dark Shards, and the rest of Black Guard and Nagarond. Now, our Grave Guard only have 29 melee attack. Whilst the Black Guard and Agarond have 48 melee attack and 69 melee defense. And since they're with Malekith, he's buffing them quite substantially. My bloodline calls. I refuse. I'm not sure we would win this if we fought it. Because it's double Black Dragon, double War Hydra. I guess if we defeated them quickly with the Blood Knights, like their Cold One Dread Knights. Then the rest of those large units might not be as much of a problem as this I thought. Be important. 
I refuse. Yeah, let's start heading down this way. I mean, it might get to the point where we just have to commit. I mean, there's always an opportunity for Bethelda maybe to get an assassination attempt off. We'll move in this direction. That might work. Okay. Bernard is now fully replenished. I guess we just wait. So he can just stay where he is. Meanwhile, Rudiger will be finishing the, the uh, Blood Knights in the next turn. Now we're over to spending cash, I believe. Only other thing I need to do is move my agents. That's uh, one done. Oh, Vilmus Gorst, he needs to continue down towards Count Ewald. Alright. Let's go by public order. Okay, we're kind of good here, although I do need to upgrade to the Witch House. And Chaos Corruption doesn't exist, it's just like characters causing Untainted, which I think is just the Greenskins hanging out near Karakate Peaks. It really sucks. I guess we may as well build the Balefire Brazier there then. Oh, high mountains, I don't care. Here at Karak Asgal, we're actually under siege. Maybe we should just play this out. Because I've only got like Ungor Spearman herd. Our army's like way bigger. Yeah, let's just attack them. Saigo might hurt, but uh, otherwise I think we just overwhelm them with numbers. We will fight this on the battle map. Yeah, the good thing is like their front line just disintegrates. Uh, the Minotaurs might do a lot of damage. But we do have a Necromancer who should have invocations. Maybe not yes, upgraded invocations, but minions. still. We'll have the sort of Crypt Gauls on the flanks. And uh, that's our army. Gamble for more wins. We can Spirit Leech the Cygor. Okay, never mind. With haste. Let's carry on. Yeah, we'll probably just use the Spirit Leech to take out the Saigor. It seems like best bet. Look how much damage he did, actually, with that one shot into the Grave Guard. 67 of them left. <laughs> that is rough. Fortunately, that one missed. Uh, I guess we may as well give the attack order. Uh, probably not with these guys though, because I want them to kill the ranged forces. Also, I need my vampire to go off to one side. Uh, let's just invocate these guys for now. Okay, so I'm going to get in range to do spirit leeches onto the Saigor. Nearly there. Then we can just flank this infantry. Alright, let's have the Vargeist go and attack these Ungor raiders. And then we can have the Crypt Ghouls just like flank as well. Because it didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. But that's okay. I think we're still doing alright. They're saying that. Uh, it looks like this right flank's been absolutely annihilated. But uh, it's okay, because we can kind of flank them here quite well. Find me if you dare! Necromancer, now! 
Okay. Let's have the Saigor taken out. I think I'm just going to have my Crypt Ghouls go and attack those whilst we have the Brave Guard come back and engage. We're starting to make quite a few of them route, so that's really good. Hopefully we can like break them all sooner than later. Yeah, let's have my vampire just attack the Saigo. I guess I may as well have my Necromancer attack the Minotaurs as well. The Von Karsteins march. As soon as we can, we'll Spirit Leech again. Okay, let's have these Felbats come back. Yeah, although that looks like victory. Yeah, we just swarm them to death. I'll have my Lord attack their Lord. Even though Necromancer is not that good. We get a Spirit Leech onto the Saigor just to finish it off. Should kill it. Okay, it didn't quite get it. <laughs> Almost. Maybe it's one for the Vargeist to finish off, I'm not sure. All those beast men units are so fast though, so there's no point in chasing them. I can probably use the foul bats here to chase uh, these guys. But otherwise it's just a matter of waiting until the spirit leech is ready to go again. Okay, that's fine. Job done. Close victory. And that's not going to kill the army, I don't think, but at least it stops them from sieging that settlement. Alright, we will return the captives for the money. And that's, I think, left that army at a point where it can't really take any settlement. So that's good. Alright, back to sorting out money. Uh, so Eastern Badlands, upgrade Karak Eight Peaks. We need to get the walls up there if we're going to deal with the rebellion. Let's just upgrade the gallows as well for the extra public order. Uh, Blightwater. Go for the Balefire Hearth at Crad Tolan. And at Misnar. I think I'm just going to grab a gibbet. You know, we will definitely go for the Balefire Brazier. Or the extra Vampiric Corruption. Nice. And 600 I can only buy the Charnel Pits, so... Nothing to worry about there. Good, we'll move on to the next turn. I think the Norse guns are going to be fine to skip. It's a matter of making sure that I keep an eye on the Dark Elves. I guess the Last Defenders might also make a move, but we'll see the attack if it happens. Yeah, we're good. And Malachis heading back down. Maybe I should have had my Banshee head towards Alasili, because it's quite likely that he was going to head back. Welcome, 
sit by my side. And okay. let us discuss what do they want? Two vipers. I'm just waiting for that to pop up one time and it be a break of alliance. And then we just know everything's going to go downhill from there. <laughs> we'll end up at war with Kemri and things are just going to be nasty. Especially if like all of our armies are on Althuan. We would still have Isabella and Count Ewald on this side of the map, but I don't think we could really defeat many of their armies. Because they are spamming like proper meme armies. Look at this. All these chariots. <laughs> How would I deal with that? I guess what I might be able to do is like just create a ball of skeletons and just absorb chariots. <laughs> Who knows? Oh well. Assassination failure against Vilmus Gorst. Old Vilmus. Oh, okay. Rotgar, Oetlux, and the Settlement Garrison versus Isabella and Count Evold. Hmm. Now, the trouble that I have with this is that I can't attack them this turn. This better be important. Actually, yes, I can. Uh, can I do it with County Ewald? Is he in range? Maybe just? This is rough. I mean, it would kill one, like, two birds with one stone, but... Oh, this is risky. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so that's going to give me a little bit of time to think about whether or not I want to make this move. The move would be have Isabella come down into reinforcement range, Count Ewald initiate the attack against uh, like Oetlaux, and then Krokgar will join in with the garrison. Like that's the plan. But that's a lot of feral carnosaurs we've got to get through, guys. And they are anti large. Wow, oh, it's just disgusting. Which means that my Blood Knights are going to be a lot less effective than they otherwise would be. Hmm. Yeah. It's been a pretty decent episode otherwise. We destroyed another Dark Elf army. And Vlad's pretty close to the Throne of Cain, which has had the sword returned to it. I'm not sure if we take it. And that means we get the Sword of Cain. Because if you look... Oh, it was there, but uh, it's gone. Is Malekith equipping it again? Ooh. He doesn't have it yet. Okay. Now may be the time to attack at LSALI. I'll have to decide if I want to do that as well. Hmm. We will see. For now, that's all. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.